Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of The Night Shift. Before we begin, I just wanted to thank each and every one of you for the overwhelming love and support we got for the first episode. I'm very grateful. I put a lot of effort into it, so I'm very happy to see that you all love it just as I did. Uh, today we've got our lovely guest Meme Bear, who you know from the Five Nights at Freddy's VHS community. Very excited to have him on, and we're gonna talk. We're gonna talk animated. We're gonna talk FNAF. We're gonna talk FNAF VHS. We're gonna be talking about tons of stuff. All that and more on this episode of The Night Shift. And a quick thank you to this episode's sponsor. I don't have a sponsor. Just roll the intro. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of The Night Shift. Today, we've got Meme Bear on. Welcome, Meme Bear. Hi, I'm Meme Bear. I, um, I have a YouTube channel that goes by the same name. I'm, I'm famously known for making the most mediocre FNAF VHS videos of all time. I'm known for making PartyRoom.mp4 with the Chico with VHS human eyes. I'm also the guy who made Learn Your Colors with the FNAF Plus Chica and, all, and, and other stuff that you probably have seen on TikTok and YouTube shorts. <laughs> That's basically it. But yeah, Meme Bear, uh, welcome to welcome to the the night shift. It's um, I want to I want to say first off, thank you for allowing me to get this chance to interview you. I know it's hard to get a lot of people to interview, especially around you know the ten the big ten anniversary. Yeah, with all if, with everyone being busy and all that mumbo jumbo. <laughs> But yeah, no. Thank you for thank you for making some time and uh, coming down. So I want to start this off. Let's hit an easy one. What animation software do you use? Do you use SFM? A little bit of Blender? Be a weirdo and use Cinema 4D? You know, what's your what's your bread and butter? Well, all right. So back in 2017, I tried using SFM for the first time and it did not work out because I was using a very shitty old laptop. But um, it was around late 2018 when I actually started doing SFM and later on in 2021 I think SFM was just like not working for me so I tried to see 4D a little bit and I was like oh no this is this just ain't it but and that was until 2022 when I finally got a PC and uh, I actually started doing Blender and I was I'm actually quite happy with it there are some there were some issues here and there, but like it wasn't that much of a problem. Holy shit! You've jumped through basically the three kings of FNAF animation softwares. So you've done, so you dabbled in SFM early on, didn't really enjoy it. Jumped to Cinema, eh, Cinema for four D for a little bit, and then now you're using Blender. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn, just collecting all the Infinity Stones. What can I say? I'm a gamer. Sorry, you were talking and you said in 2017 you started using SFM. Yeah. Um, your first video starts in 2018. So. Oh yeah. All right. So. Obviously, I, I guess I guess we'll preface this. Your channel has been your channel was created back in 2014. So. Yeah, I, and your first video that is still publicly available is in 2018. So I guess I want to ask, uh, what's uh, what's up with the gap? All right, so the to I, I want to make a, a little correction there. Um, I actually started making videos in August 2017. My very first video was actually called my FNAF Plush Collection. I actually did FNAF Plush videos back in the day. And uh, when I started doing VHS videos and all that stuff, I was like, oh man, I don't want people to see this cringe. So like, I just, I'm, I, I privated all of my old stuff, but I decided to, to like, make some old stuff public for funnies and so the first video you see on my channel is a gameplay i did back in 2018 yeah the uh the eyes of horror um yeah i i was gonna ask why why did you decide out of all of those to to leave that one up the mo the mobile game recording but uh i i, I I, I, I just thought it would be funny. <laughs> I think I, I, I don't have like a full memory of this, but I think it's, I think my friends told me to like make it public. I wanted to ask, I briefly, I, I may have this information wrong and you can feel for, you can 
feel free to correct me on this. By chance, were uh, you know, did you do um, some Five Nights at Freddy's song covers in the past? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, I did. Yeah. So this is this is true information. Heard it here first, folks. Yeah, uh, I actually, I yeah, I did those covers in 2017, and then I just stopped doing it because I, I was like, oh, dude, this makes my ears bleed. I'm a grown boy myself. I can admit this. You are not alone. I also on my on my own channel have at least four song covers um, from the past. So don't worry, you're you're not alone. I don't feel embarrassed on like sharing this because I'm like, you know, what? it's this stuff is funny, so I'll just share it anyway. Yeah, in the end, it's in the end, it's hilarious to be like, oh my god, yeah, I did song covers back in the day. <laughs> so, um, with your with your YouTube channel, I guess what was, um, if you can remember all the way back to 2014 when you first started, what was the I guess inspiration um, to I, to start a channel? I basic I mean I just saw I just watched a bunch of YouTube stuff and I was like man I want to I want to do YouTube myself and so yeah as a, that's, as a that's, that's basically it that's just as a yeah wee as a wee, child as a wee little 10 year old boy I was like hmm, I'm gonna make a channel but I would but I wasn't I wasn't quote unquote old enough to like actually do videos so I had to wait until I was like 13 to like to make videos and as you can see that's where FNAF plush collection started yeah. so we talked a little bit about your youtube um now we're going to kind of shift towards five nights at freddy's and i want to ask you five uh your first interaction with five nights at freddy's what was that like did you hear about it like you know from a friend from school or you know found you know gameplay video hello Mar hello markiplier here you know what was your first intro to FNAF like? It's very, it's very hard to remember what exactly caused me to like it. But I think if I can try and remember hard, I think one of the first ever react, like the first ever like moments I ever like watched something FNAF was like this SFM FNAF video where it was like the living tombstone like song. Yeah, all the way back in 2014. That, I think that was one of the first ever like ex exposed experiences I had with FNAF. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I I think definitely you and many others can share that ex same experience. And so with Five Nights at Freddy's, I guess was there a was there a particular reason that you decided to animate Five Nights at Freddy's, or was it the VHS stuff? Uh, just like the, um, uh, like the, um, like the starting YouTube question, I basically just saw a bunch of FNAF animations and I kind of wanted to do that myself. And, uh, I started like quote unquote animation, like FNAF animation with, uh, drawing cartoons too, or DC2 for short. It, it's basically like this app where, um, people just, it's like drawn FNAF, like pictures rigged up and stuff and you just animate them. Is it is it like that stupid like two D FNAF animation with like the puppets and stuff that we have now? I have no, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Sino, put up a, put up an image of whatever the fuck he's talking about because I don't know right now. But yes, yeah, search up FNAF. Yeah, search up FNAF DC two and you'll find your you'll find your answer. <laughs> okay, so with your animations, um, so you mentioned you did a little bit of DCH two or whatever, um. Did you do any like uh, SFM animating? Like I know you said you got into it, you tried to get into it a little and didn't succeed much. Did you do any animating before you like started publishing your Five Nights at Freddy's VHS uh, content? Uh, yes, yes, I did. Yeah, there were also SFM animations I did, and I published them on YouTube back in 2018 to 19 and such. But once the VHS popularity like came into play i was like mm, i should like unlist all these because they just look bad mainly just because they are just outdated and such but i still like have some sfm videos up like still on public yeah because i i see oh i mean you also still do besides fnaf vhs you still you also do um a fair amount of collab parts 
Yeah, that's it's ba honestly. I honestly find just simply animating FNAF like much more like relaxing than just VHS content. Mm. Are collab parts fun? Uh, kind of. It just depends. Have you ever had a bad experience with working on a working on a FNAF collab? There were moments where like I just didn't feel motivated to continue animating like certain parts and I just gave up. I guess now we'll kind of nitpick into your FNAF VHS content. Um, obviously it's what you're uh, most known for um, on YouTube. So if you don't mind, I kind of I kind of would like you to walk me through, I guess, the process of coming up with your ideas. I feel that your early content um, is more is a little bit of like just experimental trying stuff out. And now your uh, your more recent VHS content seems to have a little bit of a little bit more story behind it. So if, if, if you don't mind, I would love if you could. Um, if you could walk us through the process, uh, the process of what it's like. Yeah, well, the older VHS videos that I did, it basically there was like no story behind those because it was just simply piggybacking what like VHS videos were doing back then. But like now, I'm like trying to work on this like FNAF VHS series on my own called The Restless, and it's like has this story that is still like being worked on, but like. It hard it's it hardly got any progress because I just felt unmotivated to do anything. Okay, um, I think uh, going back to your a uh, little bit of your older content, um, I think one thing that stands um, that makes you stand apart from other VHS uh, creators and uh, my, my own personal opinion here, but your claim to fame would be your your except uh, i don't want to say excessive but your heavy use of gore within your vhs content oh, i guess i want to yeah. i guess i want to know a little bit of where uh, what is what's your what's your reasoning for for that a lot of people think that i was like being edgy or something when i was putting so much of that stuff on those videos but like I thought I thought I'd put that in there because like I thought it would make it like scary and such also because I kind of saw other people doing it as well as I was like oh okay but just like I said I didn't really have any like creative ideas for the VHS for my older VHS videos I honestly was just doing what other people were doing and I thought I was and I I felt proud of those back then but now I'm just like oh that's that was pretty cringe of me because obviously a lot of people want to follow in you know the 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 follow follow the leader with you know but um i think definitely it sets you apart from like the traditional you know no no jump scare set the atmosphere no release and you definitely swing the complete opposite way with grabbing the viewers with you know grotesque gore loud noises jump you know plenty jump scares and violent lights so i think definitely well i'll tell you that definitely it definitely works for you it definitely ha thinking about it now it definitely has its like ups and downs like mostly downs but that's honestly kind of why i wanted to make the restless in the first place because the restless is supposed to be like a an, an entire remaster of like all of those old videos combined into one story to like make it like less gore less like all that and just make it feel unsettling and like like perfect horror atmosphere for people to enjoy and not have be like oh my god oh my god he's doing the gore he's doing the gore thing again oh my fuck you know yeah yeah no, I, I, I get that and i yeah i can definitely see that with your um with your newer content like compare comparing party room mp4 from its original to the restless remake there's definitely i can definitely see i'll tell you one thing i can definitely see the growth from the original to the remake um i i, I want to ask are those are those those are definitely custom models are those custom models made by you or did you get those like commissioned by somebody 
I they were models I found on DeviantArt, and I thought it they'd be perfect to use. I just I edited them a little bit to make them look like like melted and like deformed because they're like withered and grotesque because of just yeah. decaying in the back rooms for a while. Nah, that's definitely that's definitely cool though. I I honestly I would have thought that like those were like your own custom models. Yeah, I don't I, know how I, to model. <laughs> yeah, no modeling. Is, modeling is so hard. I, modeling sucks nuts. Am I right? It, it definitely, it definitely sucks nuts. Um. Yeah, I'll throw this question at you. Um, you said you use Blender. What kind of? How do you achieve your VHS um look? Uh, basically, you just, you just gotta. You gotta, you just gotta understand the premise of cycles, blender cycles. Mm. So, do you not use the traditional FNAF VHS um, blender blender effect? Oh no, um, I used to, but um, then it just then that filter became overused and such, and I was like, man, this ain't working. I don't really have a VCR, so I can't really do my own VCR conversions to make it actually look like a VHS tape. Yeah. I basically used like I, I use this other VHS filter that actually somewhat that actually looks kind of more decent, and that's what I just stuck with. Yeah. I just had to ask because I mean that's what I use, and I know that's what a lot of people use. Um, you know. Yeah, like I, I, I don't I don't I don't really have a problem with the filter, nor do I have a problem with um, people using it. It's just it's just me it's just my preference that it's just like it's just become like overused. Also on your channel I notice a lot of not so much in the past, but more recent, a lot of Walton Files uh, content. Uh I, I wouldn't say a lot. That it's just it's just mostly because most of the videos were basically just me going through a Walton Files phase. But like the recent ones were like, eh, I'll just make these for fun. Damn, you got you all got some like shocking answers. Like you all say answers that I am not expecting. Damn, what can I what can I, what, what can I say? I'm I'm the I'm the I'm the mean I'm the mean bear. Say more expectable, ex ex expected answers. No, I'm joking. Please, I love, I love left field answers. It gets me riled up, and I don't know, probably good for views. <laughs> so you were talking about how you've kind of hit a rut with your restless series. Do you plan? Is that something you plan on continuing at some point? Yeah, yeah. Like I, I definitely do want to do the restless, but like I just, I just don't know when to do it because like there's so much stuff that i have to like achieve in order to um actually do it like for example motion capture and um getting actual like good props for certain things and scene building in general is just a pain in the ass hmm. i i will definitely say um I was I was talking I was talking with yesterday. I was I was surprised to hear that he still does everything in SFM. Oh yeah, dude. I'm honestly surprised too. He, he's like one of the only like SFM like FNAF YouTubers that like I I actually recommend watching because it's it's honestly amazing that he's willing to like do all of that in SFM and it's just it shocks me. Yeah. It really shocks me. It's impressive. Like even building his own maps is like that's 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 something that, like a line I wouldn't even cross. That's what that's honestly one of the reasons I like moved to Blender is so that I could actually build my own shit and make it relatively easier on myself. Yeah, like it takes some actual dedication to do all that in like a very in like a in like an old like software that crashes every five minutes. I and honestly I I give him applause to that. Like it, it's a, it's, it's it's amazing. Yeah, no, definitely gets uh, a a a clap and a half for the dedication. So with your Five Nights at Freddy's VHS content, um, do you try to strictly stay to game accurate lore, 
or have you started moving into um, like basically your own your I guess I will say your own alternate universe lore where some things are changed for the sake of your content or maybe like a little bit of a little bit of a middle ground like you know answering like a few questions to help drive your VHS story along uh I I'm yeah it's definitely my own like story where like it's only I I will give uh this about the story it it, it has Fred vs. Family Diner in it it has like the unwithered like Freddy Fazbear Pizzeria place it also has FNAF 2 and a tiny bit of FNAF 1 there it doesn't go beyond that well you heard it here first folks yeah riveting riveting information on Mean Bear Restless uh let Restless lore no spring trap get oh 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 peak information right there so uh we'll we'll shift a little bit away from uh from from FNAF VHS talk because I know that can be very tiring but don't you worry it's not going anywhere where it'll it'll rear its ugly head let's talk a little bit about other stuff um you had a discord server at one point oh yeah I did, I, didn't I? You did. I was a moderator on that Discord server. Why? F if I know. I think it's just because you were popular. <laughs> oh, thank you. Uh huh. I like to think. Yeah. But it it it's gone. It go bye bye. Why that happen? I didn't want to do it anymore. The, it just <laughs> just got tired. It was it's just it was just very inactive, and I just didn't want to deal with it anymore. It was too much on my little tiny hands <laughs> little tiny little tiny little hands tiny, little tiny hands just couldn't, couldn't, couldn't handle couldn't handle it anymore just little, your, little, your little tiny hands I couldn't handle that many people <laughs> okay yeah I, I just the only reason I ask is because I don't know if I remember a straight answer for why it was deleted all I remember was hey guys discord server is getting deleted and I just didn't really bother to ask why but yep just wanted to just wanted to reopen that old wound so i so this has probably got to be the most important question in the interview uh-huh when is eyes of horror game part two coming out you know what just, 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 just for you. It'll, it'll, it'll be out in the same format and everything. Do we have a release date? No. Well, you heard it here first, folks. Coming out eventually. Yeah. No, but in all seriousness, um, obviously you've well, you've done that in the past, and I know you dabble in live streams, and I'll talk about that in a minute. Do you plan on like hosting maybe another like a second channel or something or doing more content um, besides just animating? Oh, you see, that's funny. I actually do have a second channel. Oh, do um, you? Is my in my information inaccurate? I don't know. I I what? don't have I don't have it down. What is what is what is your second channel? It used to be called Demonte, where I would just where back then I just posted a bunch of random random stuff but like back when like i felt like like not making vhs videos anymore on my main channel and i just kind of like i was thinking about leaving the main channel i moved to the second channel named demonte where i just showed off like other like just just normal fm animations i did and um yeah and then i was like you know what this is I don't, I don't really like this idea. I'm just gonna go back to my main channel because I'm just, I'm stupid like that. And uh, my second channel is, well, no, just called the Restless. That account is probably where I will post the Restless videos, like the series. And if that doesn't work, I'll just post it on the main channel and I'll just delete it forever. Who cares? <laughs> okay, don't mind me. I'm just trying to. I'm just trying to actively try and find it, but with no luck. Don't worry. I'll, I'm going to get it from you. I'm going to get it from you at some point. Oh, don't worry. I can just send it to you in DMs. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, link in description. But, so, obviously, so, okay, so you plan on uploading the Restless series there. Um, 
and also I, I also you do a lot of you do a lot of live streaming yeah it's kind of, yeah it's it's my pet it's it's one of my passions yeah you've definitely you've definitely you definitely dabble in it a lot more than and I, I would say at least that that more than most um which is really cool I guess I, so I assume you have a lot of you get I don't know, you have enjoyment live streaming it's fun yeah, I have more enjoyment just simply just just simply having fun with like people who are featured in these live streams, just playing games. I feel like it's more like refreshing and nice than like struggling trying to animate Freddy doing the the gritty. Yeah, no, I definitely can agree for my fair share of live streams I've done. Um, why 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 don't you talk to me about your uh, talk to me a little bit about your little uh, friend group? You got my little friend group. Yeah, your little, your little, uh, your little friend group. Your little friends my that little, appear in the live my, streams and stuff. Why, why don't you talk about pals. that a little bit? My pals. All right. Uh, they, they, they vary in like different groups. There's, um, there's one I'm in called the Sunday Squad, where it features Ranger, Shade, and uh, sometimes Butchie. Uh, they, they were, they, they, they were friends. That I, man, English. Uh, they they were hard. friends of mine back in 2018, and they still are to this day. Ranger is my closest friend because we actually we actually share a bond. That does that doesn't sound ominous at all. No, so no, you guys got like a pact definitely. with Satan or something in the basement of the basement of your home. Maybe. <laughs> and then there's the hangout group where it's um. Where it's just me, Dark Lord, Ryan, Elliot, uh, Jackson, uh, Taco, and Joe, and sometimes Colton, Scarecrow. Um, hmm. That's basically most of the people I talk to now. Cool. Is that the uh, is that is that the beloved Noob Nation I hear so much about? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Those are the OG Noob Nation people. The OG Before, Noob Nation. Yeah, every, yeah, and then everything changed when the. Yep. <laughs> this is what I get. I'm like, I have to like submerge myself in everybody's content, with like 24 hours in advance. Unfinished funny moments on your channel. That's where I got most of my information from. That was funny. I like that video. Congrats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's funny. I wanted to make a sequel to that, but I was like, man, I need, I need to be more funny. <laughs> I need to be more. Yeah, you do. Come on, pick up your game, man. Dude, you're right. I'm gonna. I'm, you know, I'm. I'm putting. I'm pulling up OBS right now. I'm live streaming right now. Perfect. All right. Um. What are we at? Thirty-five minutes. Okay. I can. Let's let's go back to a couple actual questions I have written down. So, so out of all of the VHS content that you have published on your channel, which one? is your favorite VHS video and which one is your least favorite VHS video? My most favorite would probably be office footage.mp4 because it ain't, it, it, it's not that like grotesque and it's not like that, like like it's not like that deep or anything. It's just, it's just a VHS video video that you would just find. Now my most hated VHS uh, video, which I'm pretty sure you probably know, is PartyRoom.mp4. The original. Yeah, the original. <laughs> because I, it, it just, it just destroyed like the perspective of what FNAF is like about and such, and people were like, oh, but it's meant to be a bloody and stuff. It's, it's not, it's not for kids. Look at this fan-made video that I found on YouTube to prove that it's not for kids. That stuff, and I'm just like. Oh hmm. my god. I, I I don't I don't like this. <laughs> so out of every single video on your channel. Yeah, we'll say every single video. I won't limit it to VHS. Every single video. If you got the chance to actually sit down and and just do it, which video would you remake? Thinking about it now. I've honestly wanted to remake that one full animation i did where it, it's called virtual replay it's a it's a help wanted song that i just randomly found and mm -hmm. i was like yeah 
I'll animate that. And so I did, and I actually finished it all. And I honestly want to kind of remake that. I also kind of wanted to also remake the Nightmare Chica voice video I did as well, because I just don't like that one either. <laughs> and the VHS okay. filter on that is just... It just does not help it. So when you go, um, when you go to make, I guess primarily your Five Nights at Freddy's content or your VHS content, are there people or other things that you use to get inspired or use as reference? Like, I guess who or what inspires you when it comes to thinking of ideas or creating your content? Uh, a lot of people inspire me, to be honest. Like. One of the cases being Baddington, since he makes his, like, he makes all of his stuff, like, from scratch and such. And, like, yeah. but, but like, the way his videos are, like, portrayed and such, it, it looks good to me. And I, and I feel inspired to, to, to be like that. There's also, um, there's also Spectre, which is also someone that I'm heavily inspired by. Mainly because of, like, how he, uh, he tells like his story and such and it introduced me to like camera motion capture movement and such to make it look more realistic and that and yeah i think those two are like probably my most inspired people to like get me into doing it that's cool so i know you briefly mentioned earlier but i didn't really pick up on it much you so you you motion capture some of your for your animations oh uh well the only time i actually did like camera like motion capture was in one of my videos called the fifth one which is like a, a teaser for the restless mm -hmm. and yeah that's it. oh that that's it <laughs> yeah that's basically yeah, yeah. <laughs> what is uh how, how 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 do you is it, it I, I i know specters uploaded some behind the scenes is it literally just basically recording your phone and just yeah it's like, like an it's asking like blender this, do the math yeah it's like this app that um people use and then there's it's like an add-on that um you can find on blender i think and uh it can just like import um the movement hmm Okay, you're definitely gonna. I'm gonna definitely ask you to send me that after after this. That sounds very okay, interesting. Yeah. I I think Baddington also did a like a video showing like the video motion captured thing too. Hmm. So, Mean Bear. Yeah. Do you think Do you think FNAF VHS is dying? Uh. I wouldn't say it's dying, but it definitely lost its charm. Like, there's still some good VHS videos out there. Don't get me wrong. There's like, there's um, there's that series that Twelve Men's like remastering, and it looks amazing. And then there's just, but, however, most of the VHS videos you see are just like the same exact thing over and over again. So. I, I I wouldn't say it's dying, but like, it's definitely just lost its spark. So, do you think that it is possible for another game series to, I guess, I guess have their own VHS community like FNAF? Do you think there's any other contenders? Uh. Not that I know of. FNAF has basically become the main, like, thing to be known as, like... Okay, no, no, let me rephrase that. FNAF VHS has just become so popular that, like, if VHS in general, it'll just, it'll just go down to FNAF. If, if you're willing to find other, like, VHS videos that are, like, not FNAF, then you're gonna, you're, you're gonna, you're gonna be in luck, because Poppy Playtime's doing the exact same thing. <laughs> now, I guess, why do you, why, why do you think that that would be the case? Why do you think that FNAF, 
um, FNAF would have such a big success with analog horror content while other game series don't really meet the mark. What do you think? What do you think is so... What do you think allows FNAF VHS to work so well? Because it's just it's just gotten because FNAF VHS has just gotten so popular to the point where like nothing can like stand out. I mean, like you got analog horror stuff like that's like original content, but we're talking about like VHS with like games, and FNAF yeah. is like one of the most top rated like games to be included in VHS content. So we're going to, we're going to slowly wrap up here. Um, we're, I'm going to just throw off a couple questions and then we'll wrap it up. Um, least, uh, favorite animatronic and least favorite animatronic from FNAF. What are they? Oh man. That mm, favorite animatronic, least favorite. Let's see. Well, I would say my favorite, most favorite spring trap but that's 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 the that's a bit obvious so i'm just gonna go with um i'll say fun time freddy Ooh, okay classic pick classic pick all right least and favorite least favorite roxanne wolf oh you're gonna you're gonna start a flame war in the comments now dude i don't care she just just she just does not deserve to breathe. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't deserve to breathe. Egocentric asshole. <laughs> but yeah, that's my least favorite. <laughs> okay, all right. I'm not here to judge because it's your own opinion, even though I agree with you to some extent. And um, last question, and then I'll roll out the red carpet for you. If you, Meme Bear, could be in any FNAF game what FNAF game would you be in and what would your mechanic be hmm. this might be this might be very strange to say but I would I would I would pick FNAF world oh really it, it fits it fits my character <laughs> I, I can I can see that. And what would what would my technique be? Yeah. All right. Fine. I guess I'll spin the question since you chose FNAF World. No, that's fine. Um, I, list list off four. You know, every animatronic gets four attacks. What would your four attacks be? Or abilities was, or whatever. The I thought it was three. <laughs> no, they get four, right? Is it three no. or four? No, it's three. It's three. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I haven't played FNAF World since like 2017. Uh, me neither. <laughs> um, what would my technique be? Uh, just uh, Funny Mike. What does it do? What does it? What does Funny Mike do? <laughs> All right. Couldn't have said uh, it better myself. Next. Bang bang. Do I want to ask? All right, here we go. Uh, and for my last trick, disappear. What? Uh, I just, I just, I just, I just leave the match and you just don't play as me anymore. <laughs> you just run away and leave the party. Yeah, I just, I just run away. Uh, that that would be good for for a troll game. Just yeah, like, dude. huh? What does disappear do? You think it makes your team disappear? But no, that that player, just, <laughs> that that unlockable character, just becomes locked again, and just you never get to see him. He doesn't even like. He doesn't. He doesn't like poof out of existence. He just he just, just turns around. Just, just he just runs away. <laughs> just leave. Just runs away. <laughs> While he's screaming, he's like, ah! <laughs> That's funny. All right. Well, I want to thank you so much, me and Bear. Um, I'm going to roll out the red carpet for you. This camera, this camera, this camera. What do you got? What do you got going on? Tell the people where they can find you and what you've got going on. Okay. If you want to find me, go on YouTube and search up Meme Bear. And if you, if you want to, if you want to follow me anywhere else, I have a Twitter account. If you follow me on Twitter, it's also on under the same name. 
that that's it. <laughs> that that's that's it all. All right then. Well, thank you so much for giving us the time to chit chat. Um, and thank you for having me, Mr. White Man. <laughs> all, all, all right. Well, thank you everybody for, for <laughs> thank, thanks everybody for uh, tuning in to this very interesting and riveting interview with Meme Bear. Uh, who who am I interviewing next? Uh, don't know, but uh, we'll see you guys in in uh, we'll see you guys in two weeks with the next interview. Bye guys. Bye. Well, that was an interview. <laughs> that was. That was. I couldn't do that anymore. Uh, that was. <laughs> it was, dude. You didn't have fun. You didn't. I had fun. I had fun. Don't worry. Okay. Good. No, it's fine. I don't. <laughs>